Hello everybody and welcome back. It is now March and I want to quickly announce the winners of the contest first. Um, the I wrote them down this time. Uh, the winner of the Africa bracelet, I Dream of Africa, was April T. And the winner of the Pyrite Stone, here it is, is Alex Hernandez. And the winner of the Compass Stone, uh, the Compass Bracelet, is Trudy Ta Truly Taylor. Truly Taylor. Okay, um, so those are the people who won the contest. And you know, so many people um, commented and said nice things. I really wish that I could give one to everybody. And if I could afford to mail it out, I would. Um, I would totally love to make something for each and every one of you. I just uh, don't have the money to mail everything. Okay, so I hope that you enjoy the bracelets and the stone if you're a winner. And if you are not, then I'll try to keep doing these. Um, maybe not every month because I have to mail everything, um, but uh, as often as I can, okay? Because I really appreciate all of you who watch the videos. Okay, so here we go. Okay, Catherine. Okay, Pisces, here we go. La la la. Okay, you are my last one for the day, Pisces. I am really curious to see what's going on with you. So far, people have been having great months, so let's see what's gonna happen. I don't want to jinx it or anything, but I think it's been a really positive time for everybody. So we'll see. That's going to be it. I can already tell. Okay, Pisces, what do you got? Okay, we have the Nine of Wands in reverse. Excellent. Then we have the Seven of Wands. Then we have the Empress. Then we have the Five of Cups. Then we have the Strength card. We have the Eight of Wands. Your obstacle is going to be all gifted. Mm -hmm. And then we have the Ten of Wands. Okay. Now, here we have the Ten of Pentacles. Okay. So, first you have the Nine of Wands in reverse. I'm really happy to see it's in reverse because Pisces works way too hard and you have uh, the Nine of Wands is about doing a lot of work. It's also about being almost finished work. So when it's in reverse like this, I feel like it's the end. It's a completion for you guys. You're, you're, you're finished or even if you're not completely finished, you're going to take a break. And I think you've earned it. I really think over the last six months you've earned this. I think you need to take a break and just enjoy life a little bit, especially since you have the Five of Cups in the middle of your reading. I think rather than this be a negative thing, we should take it and turn it into a positive. Over here you have the Seven of Wands. This is about you standing up for something and being really passionate about it. This is like, this card here, the way they've done it, it's like, it looks like Moses standing up to the Egyptians and saying, like, let my people go. Like, that's how strong this is, okay? The guy's really wanting to get everyone's attention and saying, I don't care how strong your wands are, mine's better, okay? So this is a big stand. It's not even a normal stand. It's a huge stand that you're having. And here you are over here supported by all these people and saying, okay, I'm the boss. Everybody look at me. I'm the boss. And here you're saying, why isn't anybody listening to me? And this is in reverse. So I feel like um, I feel like you want to tell everybody a certain thing, and no one's no one's cooperating, no one's going jumping on your boat and saying, "Okay, I'm with you." It's 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 something that you really care about, and you feel like no one is supporting you. Okay, but you're wrong because here you have the Empress. Now the Empress is not a person. The Empress is representing the universe. Okay, the universe or God or um, just just fate. This is about the universe helping you out and saying, you know what, I'm going to give you something that you really love. All right. So you are being blessed. You are having something that's good, but I don't think you're going to be able to see it right away because you have the five of cups in the middle of your month. And it seems to me like you're really fighting people. You're really fighting against some stuff here because also you have the strength card over here. It's right above the seven of wands. And this has to do, again, with the universe supporting you. Not only are you standing up and feeling like, oh, I'm alone, but you have strength from the universe and you have the empress. So you really have fate and the universe on your side. It's just that you are feeling like you're fighting against other people. And that's not necessarily a bad thing because it just means that what you have is special and other people don't see it. Whether it's an, a project or whether it's an opinion or whether it's just a lifestyle or whatever. And I think you feel so strongly about it that you don't really care about what other people think. And you probably shouldn't because with the, with the Empress and Strength backing you, I think it's really important that you stay on whatever path you're on and just kind of take a break from other people. Over here you have the Five of Cups. Now, in this Five of Cups, 
This person is upset, of course, they, they always are in Five of Cups, but the cups here are broken, and the cups back here are fine, okay? And she's not noticing the, bro the, the, the fine cups because she's noticing these broken ones, and she's being seriously dramatic about it, okay? Really dramatic about it. But she's also in front of a cave, and I think that's important to notice because most cards don't, ha most Five of Cups don't have a cave. I think the cave represents the hermit that's gonna be coming. I think that it's gonna be about you going off on your own, like a typical hermit car where you go off on your own and you uh, think about what it is that you really want to accomplish. And I think that's important that I picked this Five of Cups from this deck for you for this month because this is the only card that has the cave in it, okay? I think that you're going to be upset about something. I don't think it's going to be like this big tragic thing. I, I think that since this person's wearing makeup, um, like dramatic makeup, I think some of it is more dramatic. I think some of it's more um, you overreacting other than like not really mourning, not really being like, oh, this is, this is like serious tragedy. This is more like you feeling like it's a tragedy, but it's actually not. I think that the reason that you're so upset is just because nobody gets what you're trying to do. And that's okay. They don't have to get it right now because maybe you're not ready to show it to people and you show it to people too early. Okay, maybe you weren't ready. Maybe it wasn't finished. And, and that's okay. Because, you know, the, the great innovators of the world if everybody liked their stuff in the beginning, it wouldn't be an innovation, okay? It has to be something that is, that at first people say, no, this is crazy. Because if people say, no, this is crazy, then then, then you know you've got something original, okay? And that's, that's the people who are successful in life. People who make things that nobody even thought of because it's just so crazy and out there. Like, look at post-it notes. Nobody ever, I'm sure when somebody first said, I'm gonna make uh, pieces of paper that are sticky on the back, the people would say, well, why? You know, why would you do this? But now everybody uses post-it notes, you know what I'm saying? So don't be afraid to be crazy, don't be afraid to be original, and don't be afraid if people don't like your stuff because that just means that no one else has thought of it yet, okay? So um, with this card over here, you have the Eight of Wands. This is about fast progress, but I believe for you also, this is about keeping people at bay. This is about putting a bunch of arrows in the air so that nobody comes close to you. Even this bird in the background is trying to swoop down and give you advice, and they're probably too scared to give you advice because you're so, you know, edgy right now, I guess. Um, and this, this bird wants to swoop down and tell you something. And as soon as you stop shooting your arrows, the bird will give you advice and you'll say, okay, that's good advice. But for now, the bird's a little bit scared to come close to you. And this, this lion over here is giving you strength, just like how this one over here, this tiger is giving you strength. Okay. But you're a little bit too scary for people to approach right now. So you might have told people your idea and then people didn't respond favorably. And now you're just kind of sulking a little bit about that. And maybe investors or other people don't want to come close to you because they're afraid of what you're going to say. And if this is a relationship and you said, I love this person, and people are like, well, I don't think that's a good idea. And you say, well, forget you. Then when other people might say, you know, I think it's a good idea, but they don't even want to bring it up because they're afraid that you're just going to fly off the handle or you're going to um, take it in a negative way because you're, you're, you're a little bit defensive right now and dramatically so, okay? Um, but none of that's bad. Okay, here is your um, obstacle, the all gifted. Okay, the all gifted. Now the all gifted is kind of like the magician in, in the fact that it's a person who uh, can do no wrong. Everything they, they, they touch go, turns to gold and everything's perfect and they, they totally know where they're at and everything's going great. As an obstacle, this is telling me you're not perfect and you might think that your idea is perfect, but it's not. And you might think that your relationship is perfect, but it's not. And you might think that you're perfect, but you're not, okay? You're not perfect. And you're not supposed to be. And it's okay that you're not perfect because if you were, you'd be dead. Only people in heaven, okay, are perfect. You're a human being and you're gonna make mistakes. You're gonna try something that's not gonna work. You're gonna try something and people are gonna think it's crazy. And you're gonna, you're gonna try, have relationships that people think are crazy, but it's okay not to be perfect. It's okay to have something original and exciting. And it's okay if you put it out there and people don't accept it right away. Okay? I'm not saying that you that you need to drop anything you're doing because I think what you're doing is on the right track because you're so passionate about it. What I'm saying is don't expect it to be perfect and don't be mad at yourself if it's not perfect. And don't be mad at other people for saying that it's not perfect. Okay? Because it's not supposed to be. It's supposed to be trial and error. That's how you do everything. Every relationship, you can't have a relationship where you don't fight with somebody. Because then it's not really a relationship. You have to have, figure out where your boundaries are. You have to have, <coughs> when you create something, you have to have prototypes that fail in order to find out what works. 
okay? You have to have that trial and error stuff happen. So you're not gonna go out there and say, I've created this thing, nothing was ever better than this, it's perfect, I'm perfect, and if you don't like it, then you're an idiot, you know? That's, that's the problem that you have as an obstacle. You're saying that, um, how dare they not like this thing, or, or I'm, I'm horrible because they don't like this thing, or this thing is horrible because it's not working properly. It's okay to make mistakes. You need to get over that because that's part of life. And it's okay not to be perfect because no matter what you do, you will never be perfect, okay? So don't be so hard on yourself and don't be so hard on others for, being, for not jumping on the bandwagon. Now, your outcome is the Ten of Wands, okay? The Ten of Wands. Some heavy lifting there. <laughs> okay, okay. I want you to be aware of something with this card. Number one, this person is lifting a very heavy block and I'm not saying it's going to be easy, but on number two, do you understand this person is making a pyramid? Now the pyramids have lasted for thousands of years and they're like incredible and everybody goes to see them because they're so wonderful, but they wouldn't exist without this hard work, okay? They wouldn't exist unless one person was like, hey, I wanna build this giant triangle in the middle of the land and it's gonna take years to build and we're gonna have tons of people build it. And the person would say, you're crazy, except that they were the pharaoh, so you couldn't call a pharaoh crazy, and so then they started building it. But I'm sure that the first people who started building the pyramid thought it was insane. And now look at it, okay? Those things are incredible. But that's what you're doing right now. You're building a pyramid. You're building something that's gonna take a lot of work and a lot of effort, and you have to really believe in it, and other people are gonna think that you're crazy until they see the pyramid. When they see you moving the block, they're not gonna agree that it's a great thing. But once all the blocks are together, they're gonna say that's an amazing pyramid. So don't get mad at people for not liking your block. They're gonna like your pyramid, okay? Now, what that means for you is, you see here where you're taking a break, you're working really hard, and the people are with you. Then you say, okay, I have to take a break. You're gonna take a break, <coughs> then you're gonna get back at it. Get, take a break, beat your chest a little bit, go in there, have some dramatics, go in your cave, then come out and do the work. And don't worry about the people, okay? Because you can see here, there are all of these, um, all of these other people are following along, but you don't really see the people, you just see all of these, uh, all of these <coughs> staffs, which represent other people following you, but you just don't really, um, get to see them in this picture. But what I'm saying is people will fall in line once you start building the pyramid, once you start, once they can see where you're going. So just keep at what you're doing, keep at your relationship, keep at your job, keep at your idea, and realize that once it becomes fully fledged, people will accept it better. Okay, so once you like get married, you've been married for 10 years, and people will be like, okay, you did, I guess you did get along with that person. Or once you've finished your project, they'll say, okay, now I get it, okay. <clears throat> now, these are things that are hidden from you. The Ten of Pentacles, which is about getting some money. Excellent. Getting money. Then over here you have the Devil, which is uh, probably in your case about working too hard, but I think you're going to have to do it. Okay? Working too hard. It's also about jealousy and anger and things like that, and I think that has to do with the Five of Cups uh, and just saying, why don't people get it? Why don't people like what I'm doing? Why don't people back me and stuff like that. They will, they will eventually, because you've got all these ones over here backing you, okay? They will back you, it's just that it now is not the time, because you have to go into your cave and say, do I really want this? And once you say, I really want this, then you can come out and do it. <coughs> but you need to take a break. I gotta take a some drink here. Mm. I want you to take a break and just really Go and find out what it is you want to do, and then come back and do this stuff. Because I think you're you need a break. You need a little bit of a break. The last thing you have here is a stalemate situation. I think this also has to do with the break. I don't think it's necessarily a thing where you say, I don't know what to do. You do know what to do. You care about this thing and you want to accomplish it. But you do need to stop for a second and just say, listen, they're not gonna agree with me. I'm not gonna agree with them. I'm just gonna go off and take a break and build this thing, and then when I'm done, then we can go back to having people back me, okay? People might not be backing you this month. 
You just need to go take a break and then do what you got to do and forget about other people and forget about them being on board. It's not even their fault. It's just that you, I think it's, I think it's important that you do this on your own or at least for a little while. Okay. You've got the strength there. I, I think you're going to be okay on your own. You have to realize that you're not perfect. They're not perfect. Just go and do what you got to do and stop, stop worrying about what they think. Okay. Now here is your, um, fate card. Let's see. I'm going to pull it. I'm just getting a feeling like I should pull it out. Okay. The black cat. Okay. It says here, your luck will soon change. Your luck will soon change. Okay. So if you're feeling like, Hey, uh, my world's upside down right now. Everything's going a little crazy. No one's backing me over here. You have the end of the month where you're working hard and people are backing you. Okay. So your fate is going to change. Now, here we have your uh, spiritual card. It says the novice, the novice. And it says here, innocence, beginner, ignorance, skill without practice. Okay. So what that may, might be telling me is maybe this thing that you're working on that you want everybody to back you, maybe you're not experienced enough and maybe you need to keep working on it and then eventually they'll back you because you might be going to them and saying, I'm the best writer of all time. And then they say to you, we don't really think so. And so you keep working on it and then you go off here and you write your novel or whatever and then you come back and they say, wow, that's an amazing novel. I'm sorry. It's anything. Okay. <coughs> you might not be as experienced as you think. You might need to... Um, rework what you're thinking about. You might need to rework it a little bit. You might need to go off and find out what's wrong with it. Because here you have the three things that are broken, right? The three things that are not working. And then back here you have the two that are. So focus on that and figure out what what's working. Figure out what's working and what you need to do. Same thing with a relationship. You might think, oh, it's a perfect relationship. And then you find out, okay, well, maybe that person doesn't feel the same. Maybe the person feels like you're... Um, you're not listening to them or you're not paying attention or you're not doing this right or you're not doing that right. So have a discussion with them. Go off and think about what, what it is that you want to accomplish in the relationship, where it is that the relationship is going, and then try to work on it. You might not be as, as perfect a partner as you think. You might want to go out and just really, you know, spend a day really focusing on that person or spend some time figuring out what they like, you know. You might need some more experience is what I'm saying with this novice card. That might be why people are against you because you don't have that much experience. Or maybe they're saying, you know, this relationship's not going to last because you have seven in the past that haven't lasted and you need to now find out how to make a relationship last. Okay. So you can accomplish these goals. I really feel like you're going to accomplish whatever goal you're working on. Look at this. You're working so hard, but I think you just need to get some more experience and maybe some, um, I wouldn't say advice. Some people, usually I tell people get some advice, but not for you because you're, you're so, uh, um, uh, running, you're running aground with other people this month. So I would say instead of getting advice, I would say realize that you're not perfect and look for ways that you can improve whatever it is that you're working on. Because that way, when you take, when you're finished your break and you come back, you can be stronger than you ever were before. This guy can't just push this, this pull these big bricks without taking a break. He can't just do it constantly. You might need to just take a break, recharge your batteries, go to your little cave and come out stronger and wiser than you were before. Okay. So the end of the month is you accomplishing big things. And I hope that you have a great month. Remember your luck will soon change. You might run aground with people this month. You might want to go off and do things on your own and not uh, waste any of your energy and time arguing with people about what you do. Just go off and improve it to the point where they automatically think, okay, well, he's worked so hard or she's worked so hard on this. Now, <clears throat> now I can see what they were trying to accomplish. Remember, they're not going to be able to see the pyramid. They just, they just see you pulling a brick right now. And by the end, when you put the work in, then they'll be able to see the pyramid that you've created. Okay. Have a wonderful month.